just so the quest to go in here search for just bar if I do that quest if I do this one it bugs out and I can't leave the undercity so I'm going to change to that one instead Uh, is that a side quest? Oh no, give Esme some time. Okay. That one I don't know where I want to take it to. So I did test this after the last time I streamed and I was le able to leave the Undercity at this time. Of course now Far Cry has taught me to hold E in to open doors. I only need to tap it in this game. if the way they're t telling me to go is actually quicker. Ah, it's a possessed person. Sorry, guard. Good, you're not attacking. I saw the guard attacking this normal-looking person. I thought... Better make sure he's okay. Yes. Is there any news? News? What kind of question is that? If you know how to wield a weapon, and it looks as if you do, go report to the barracks and help with the defense of the city. We need every able-bodied man and woman we can get. Okay. Can't talk to you? Okay. So we can still name this donkey. Had it given to me, they gave me the opportunity to name it, but at the time. Sorry, just had to cough. At the time I was given it, I wasn't affiliate and didn't have channel points. I didn't have the option for my chat well, to name it. Like so now if you like, Hello. <clears throat> Lovely day, isn't it?
would have been easier to fast travel, but using a side. We're almost there now. Uh, there's two ways to go. Rest in the temple quarters or attend direct Barta's interrogation. I want to go to the interrogation. This way. I'm going the right way, aren't I? Yep. Hmm? One more time. Why did you kill Pegast? I didn't kill her. How often do I have to tell you that? The Grand Master the and the Truchessa do not want to be body. disturbed. How do you explain I'm that? I'm sorry, brother. But <sighs> well, work in the heart. maybe really? there are thousands of dust addicts in the city, and not just me. Damn it. Yes, I gave Korek the locations of our outposts, but I had nothing to do with the death of that woman. Then at least tell us who else Korek bought. Who hired the mercenaries in Old Rationgrad? I don't know. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. And do you know why? Because this war is madness, Teal'or. It is madness. It is unnecessary. And you are too fucking blind to see it. It is unnecessary. I am blind? Which of us is the traitor? Which of us is responsible for the deaths of hundreds and hundreds of people? Let's stick to the point. Accusations lead us nowhere. <laughs> A word of wisdom from your mouth, Natara. Bravo. Pity that your wisdom doesn't go beyond words. Weren't you always the most determined of the three of us? For three decades you led this country, and you never showed any weakness. But no, as soon as the grand, presumed dead Teal or Aranthiel returns, all you do is bow and scrape. Why, Natara? Have you too come to believe that pile of scrap metal out there can save us? Whatever that's supposed to look like. Or do you do it because Teal or warmed your bed back in the day? <sighs> you are only making it worse. Oh, am I? You are so bloody blind. Blind and stupid. Both of you. Don't you realize how much of a fool this Korek really is? His only condition for peace was that we would stop rebuilding some ancient machine. What would that have cost us? That wasn't Nothing. the only but condition. No, Teal'or. And to yes, it would have cost a lot. fantasy of cycles and high ones is more important more important than anything else damn it even your own people if we stop building this machine believe that the threat is not real after all our race happened. would be wiped I out i don't know i'm a warrior not a sage but even if it is real what I do know is that we can only lose this war, and that we will dig more graves with each day we wage it. Up here we are safe, yes, but what about the villages, the farmers? Don't get me wrong, Tierlaw, I know what I did. But sometimes a quick cut is better than bleeding out slowly. Korek would have conquered the city, we would have surrendered. And maybe he would have even shown mercy. But it's too late for that now. No. 
You didn't do this for our country or our people. You did it because you wanted to save your own skin. Nothing more and nothing less. And yes, Jarek, maybe you are right. Maybe we can't win this war. But that doesn't mean I will surrender. Because I have something that you don't. Principles. You don't have any. You have nothing but your bottle of booze and your bloody dust. You are a hollow man, without talent. And the only reason you are here, and not in the alleys of the Undercity, is your bloodline. And now, people are dead, all because of your cowardice. Do not think I will ignore that for old time's sake. I will count to three. Who else has Koreg bought? One. <sighs> now aren't you a tough guy, TLR? Two. What I did was right. Stop doing One that. One day you'll realize this too. No, and it then wasn't. you will be ashamed for you just... <gasps> Tilo. We are done here. Who? Oh. The Grand Master and the Truchessa do not want to be disturbed. Still I'm saying sorry, that. Brother, but good work in the heart, really. Walk blessed. Why is it saying go out up there? So, he must not have known about that the cycle is actually real. And if we stop building this machine that we're trying to build, the whole human race is killed, will be annihilated. Prophet. The war we're in at the moment, yes, there's deaths, but there'll be less deaths than if we don't build this. The sparse face flickers in your mind as you want to sit down at the edge of the bed. Something is telling you to meet him before lying down to sleep. I will try it. I'll hard save it. And we'll try doing that one again. And we'll see if it's working now. There's that one, search for Jaspar. Maybe I'll do this one over here first. I thought I had already done this one.
Walk blessed. Greetings. I know I have actually met Jaspar. But I think I didn't upload that part because it just kept bugging and wasn't working. Uh, that's that way. Wow. Nice sword. And just after the bug, or just after we talked to him, it kept crashing the game. Good. Monsieur? It almost looked like it was going to crash, but it didn't. Yes? He's not in there. And there goes, nope. For a second it was not responding. I just realized I didn't put the death counter back. There we go. Lucky we haven't died yet. Every time the game zones to another area, I'm getting a loading circle in the middle of my screen. On the mouse. Didn't that time. Now let's try going to the other one, not this one. Dress you're wearing there, son child. I'd be careful. Some you know. bloody wench thinks she's bought so incarnate. So he is in here. Now there's a treat for the eye. There he what is. What do you say, darling? Want to spend some time together? Now look at that. If that isn't the holy prophet. What, what, what are you doing here? Looking for some, some fun?
What's the meaning of this? <laughs> well, what does it look like? We're entertaining ourselves. May may I introduce you to my friends? This this is Asha, this is Leandra, and this is Moray. Asha's from uh, Kira, you know. All praise Asha, Queen of the Desert. <laughs> <laughs> You should join us, my friend. We are having a lot of fun here. I want to be rude to them, but... I'm going to say my friend and I need to talk. Hey, what, what the heck is wrong with you? Don't be a prick. You, you are way too serious sometimes, you know that? There are times when you just have to indulge. There's a difference between indulging and drinking yourself under the table. Eh. I am enjoying myself. You should try that for a change, you know. Who knows how much time there's left for that? What are you doing here, anyway? Well, your own sister tried to kill you. I just wanted to check in on you. See if you need someone to talk to. Ah, right. Talking. Talking is good. Or is it? I forgot. You blame yourself for Adila's death, don't you? You can't deal with what happened. Maybe I can't, yeah. Or maybe I don't give a fuck about Adila. Maybe I don't give a fuck about any of you. And I'm just waiting for the right moment to stab you all in the back. Who knows? That's the great thing about life. You can never tell exactly which way the wind blows. Damn it, pull yourself together. This is beneath you. Is it now? What if what you're seeing here is my true self? Hmm? And if it was, would you still bother pretending to care? <laughs> nah, you wouldn't. I think if you really knew me, you'd have been long gone. Why would I do that? You just don't want to get it, do you? Let me think how I can make myself more clear. Yes? Okay, I was standing in your way. Why were you still here? Three words. I. Don't. Care. I don't care where my jobs come from and what I have to do as long as I'm getting paid. I don't care if the beggar in the front of the tavern eats his own shit as long as I can enjoy my beer inside. And I don't care if people who think they're important to me kick the fucking bucket because I just don't care. Adila's dead? Fuck it. At least that means there's no one around anymore who knows what I really am. <sighs> Lucia. She... She was the first one. I took what I wanted from her, and when it got too tiresome, I just left her behind. Like all the others, before and after her. So those two will continue the story. The High Ones are responsible for Dilla's death, not you. The High Ones? Yeah. Those goddamn high ones. When those thugs killed our family, she was so hurt, so lost, you know? But do you think I did anything to help her? All I cared about was myself. What Adila did, what she became, that didn't just happen overnight. I always felt that something was wrong with her, how she kept on withdrawing from the outside world, reading all these stupid books my father always read. But I never went to see her. I never wrote her. 
And you know why? Not because there wasn't time for it. Not because I couldn't cope with it myself. I didn't because I couldn't be bothered. Couldn't bother with her moodiness. Didn't bother with all the drama. I just couldn't care less. Just as I didn't give a fuck about Lysia. All the others? What do you mean? Have you never wondered why I'm by myself? Loyalty, friendship, love. It's bullshit. We're born alone, we live alone, and we die alone. And I seem to be the only one who fucking sees it. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Lysia wanted something you couldn't give her. You told me that. We were on a mission in Golden Forest, and had just set up camp for the night. That was a couple of nights after we realized that we had different expectations, so to speak. I went to get firewood, and when I came back, there were half a dozen bandits in the camp. Lysia was out cold. She was still alive. I saw it. She was alive, but I just ran. I just turned around and fucking ran. What did the bandits do to her? I don't know. I never went back. Never. But why? Why? Because I never gave a shit about people, even if they were deluded enough to think otherwise. It's just like Adila said, my life revolves around one thing, and that is me, Jaspar, the navel of the fucking universe. It was six against one. Was there really anything you could have done for that, for her? Does it matter? I didn't even consider fighting, not for a moment. I'm not going to say that. I agree with both of these. You got scared. That's not exactly heroic. But it sure is, but it sure as hell is human. A lot of things are human. That doesn't make them better. Do you think it was any different with us? I saw you and felt there'd be money in helping you. And if that Korak had offered me my life against yours, do you think I would even think twice? You think we're friends or whatever, but we aren't. I don't want to say that. I don't want to leave him behind. All this has stopped being lucrative long ago. And you know that. You're still here because you believe in our mission. If that's what you want to believe, go ahead. You think I'm something that I'm not. Something I never was. I'm a sellsword. Not one of the good guys. And you think that you know me, but you don't. Adila and Lysia, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Now, please, just go, okay? I need to get away from here. From this city, from these people, from, from everything. <laughs> 